What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, well, um, I'm gonna basically be talking about why continuity, in reference to Star Wars, so the Star Wars continuity, matters to me. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, and other videos that are more just a topic in general, so, uh, yeah, please, if you enjoy this, then please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars videos in the future and uh, yeah without further ado let's just get to the video all right continuity noun and here is the first description the unbroken and consistent existence or operation of something over a period of time and then the second definition is the maintenance of continuous action and self-consistent detail in various scenes of a movie or broadcast so either one is pretty applicable but I think the the first one is applicable the unbroken and consistent existence or operation of something over a period of time like a story all right so as you probably know last monday star wars dropped the uh the bad batch season three trailer and in that trailer uh asajj ventress was in it now normally you'd be like oh what does that matter well Bad Batch Season 3 takes place uh, after Asajj Ventress is supposed to have died. Because in a uh, book, Dark Disciple, she dies. Um, I'm not going to go into more detail on that in case you want to read. Of course, you know, there are spoilers for Dark Disciple. Um, but, yeah. She dies. So, and then here she is in the trailer for Bad Batch, alive. So... You know, have they retconned it or what? And, you know, this isn't the first time that they've retconned things from books or comics or really anything else. Because, um, let's see here. In actually season one of Bad Batch, uh, Kanan Jarrus is in it. And uh, the, the events in Bad Batch season one retcon a Kanan comic that they put out. That I hear was actually decent. And he's also, it's also been done with Ahsoka because uh, in uh, Tales of the Jedi, the third Ahsoka episode, uh, where it's after Order 66 and all that, and she goes into hiding in that, that, that really uh, retcons events of the Ahsoka novel by E.K. Johnston. So. Yeah, this isn't the first time. And Dave Filoni has even done it to himself. Because in the Ahsoka TV show, you have, uh, I believe it's the second episode, where they basically recreated that scene from the very end of Rebels, uh, where Sabine is, you know, she's tapping the mural of the Rebels crew. And then Ahso and, and you see Ahsoka the White hanging there, and they're going to go look for Ezra. Yeah, they basically retconned that. Because when that ha when that event happens in the Ahsoka show, Ahsoka's not wearing her white robe, it's gray. It's very different, and she gets her white robe later on. So Dave Filoni retconned that for reasons. So uh, basically, Dave Filoni does not really adhere to uh, continuity. He's, he's basically going to do whatever he wants. Now, this is really annoying for someone who likes continuity now you might be someone that doesn't really care too much about you know continuity and that's totally fine but i feel like continuity to me it's the story like if you're if you're not if you're ignoring continuity there's really no rhyme or reason you could do whatever you want but at the flip side what's the point of doing of connecting it to everything if you're just going to ignore other stuff, it just it, it just doesn't make sense. And quite frankly, it's one thing when you retcon something that no one likes. But people get mad when you retcon something people do like. But And you could even still have people mad when you retcon pe uh, stuff that no one likes because 
generally speaking, retcons aren't the greatest. Um, and when you don't have to retcon stuff, uh, I don't think you should because it just, uh, it's just a, it's just a big jumbled mess. You know, I'm not like the biggest fan of the Disney canon stuff. It's getting harder and harder to care about it really. Like, um, and honestly, like now granted, maybe Ventress, they didn't, they didn't retcon that event or it may be, it, uh, the events of Dark Disciple are, are still going to be considered, but think about that. If Dark Disciple basically still happens, how do we still have Ventress after the events when she died? There's a, there's a couple of options. Either she's a clone, which... Why? 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 She's been brought back from the dead somehow, which, again, why? We need to quit bringing back dead characters. That's another problem entirely with the current stuff they just keep they just they kill a character off and you really shouldn't be like oh they're totally dead who have they killed off in disney canon and brought back they've done that almost all the time of course you know ben solo's dead but is he going to stay dead forever well probably because uh they're probably never going to make any more sequel trilogy stuff really because no one wants that unless that ray movie does get made but that's a whole nother thing but yeah, getting back to the continuity issue. It's just, it just doesn't make sense when you just ignore it. That's what Disney canon does right now. They just, they just ignore the, the stuff before. Like they, they're only interested in telling their story with their toys. If, if it oversteps some other story or character, oh well, we'll just erase that. That doesn't matter. Um, and it's just a shame because it's like ultimately. What's the point of the books and comics in the Disney canon? What's the point of those? They're basically uh, frivolous because they're not they're not really connected to the movies and TV shows because they're going to get overridden. That means they're not important. They are expendable. And uh, yeah, so they've done it uh, enough in Disney canon that quite frankly, any book, comic... Um, and most likely video game do not expect it to really be canon really it shouldn't be considered canon because it's more like well it's canon till some writer or director or whoever of a movie or tv show basically wants to tackle those events and then you could just overwrite that and basically that book becomes non-canon well i think i've uh rambled for enough kind of a loose